everyone, my name's Mandy and this is my channel Make It So. Today I am taking part in the brilliant vloggers tour for So Frugal 24. It's the 29th of March and the competition does end on the 31st of March but there's still time and I will be making my garment up today. <laughs> so what I will tell you first is what the rules are and then the type of garments that I have chosen and why. So the rules are, which I'll put on the screen, it needs to be a free pattern available to everybody. So not just one that you've been given or in a magazine you have to buy or on a swaps table because I did have a bag pattern like that and it doesn't apply. The second thing is you must choose fabric from your stash. Now, if you've watched me before, you know that that's never a problem for me because I do have quite a collection. Uh, thirdly is you must make this garment during the month of March. And the final thing is to reveal your garment on Instagram on the 31st of March, ensuring that you use the hashtag SoFrugal24 and you tag in Ruan from the Yorkshire Sew Girl and Sam from Frugalissima and it's thanks to those two lovely ladies that this um, challenge exists and this is the fourth year that it's been running so it's a really good challenge and it does make you think about using your stash and also what is available for free. So my theme for the Frugal challenge is workwear now, I've been hinting that I have got a change in my life circumstances and you will now find out I have just been, or not just been offered, but I am going to be starting a new job next week. And I have worn a uniform in any employment I've had for at least the last 17 years. So this is quite a big thing for me because I can actually make my own clothes to wear for work. For once. So when I was looking through the internet I found so many patterns that to start with I thought I'd give you options of blouses, trousers, dresses and skirts but I had about 10 blouses, seven of the other categories and I just thought how long do you want this video to be Mandy and so I have cut it down to two items in each of those categories. Now, I know the Tilda blouse by Made Zone Fove is an amazing blouse pattern which I will be making, and that is a free pattern still, but I know other vloggers have suggested this, so I will give you some other options. So the first one I've got is from Tiana's Closet, and it's the Annie Fluted Sleeve Blouse. This comes in 10 different sizes from XXS to 5XL, which for bust sizes is 31 and a half inch to 47.2, waist 23.6 to 40.2, and hips 30.6 inches to 52. I am reading this because I just want to cover everything, so I do apologize if I look down sometimes. Um, this is, you can make this in, anything really from lightweight drapey fabric to wool or fleece so it's quite a good one that you could make for throughout the year not just now um, it's very it's loose fitting it has a flounce sleeve detail and a round neck and I really like the look of this one um, it looks quite plain from the picture but I just like the different um, detail on the sleeves because I thought it is classed as a blouse and if you didn't have time to make it for So Frugal, there is another challenge run by Ruan the Yorkshire Sew Girl next month in April, which is a blouse challenge. So that could be an option. You've got a free pattern plus an idea to make a blouse for that competition. So that is my first one. It does say it is a pattern for beginners. So I think that's a lovely one. It's got such a great detail to it without it being too complicated. So my next suggestion for a blouse is over on the site So So Easy and it is called the Office Hours Blouse. Now this one on first look does look quite plain again, I'll show you a picture, but it does have some added details to give it a bit more interest. And the first one is it has a front pleat 
just to give it a bit of shaping and then at the cuffs it's elasticated which is great if you need to roll your sleeves up to wash your hands or anything because I don't know about you but I have done that before where I've gone in and the, the tap's been a bit, uh, how can I say, it sprays all over you and if you can roll your sleeves up then that's that problem solved. Um, it also has gathers at the shoulder and at the back it actually fastens up with a hook and eye closure so you can use any sort of lightweight woven with this one so that gives you quite a few options especially now spring summer's coming and also it uses 1.3 meters of fabric which is brilliant because I do sometimes buy um, like smaller amounts than three meters I do tend to get three meters, but obviously when you're making another garment, you have leftovers. So this one, I think you could, with a bit of pattern Tetris, you could actually fit it out of what you've got left over from another make. So there are my two blouse options. So I'm next going to show you a couple of free skirt patterns that I found. Again, I did find quite a few, but a couple of those were not very size inclusive. Um, they only went up to a UK 14, which I think is a US 12. So I had to dismiss them because they wouldn't fit me. Um, so the first one I've got is from Itch to Stitch and it is the Lindy Petal Skirt. Size range for this one is size XXS, which is a 23 and 7 eighths waist and a 34 inch hip, going up to a 39 inch waist and a 48 and three quarter hip. So again, it doesn't have many sizes available, but um, it only uses a meter and a quarter or 1.2 meters of fabric, but it suggests knit fabric for this. Um, on first glance, it looked like a uh, woven, but it is only a knit fabric. Um, this has a lovely detail on it, as you'll see from the picture, where it overlaps at the front and it is classed as a pencil skirt. But what I like about this one as well is, there's only 13 pages you have to print off for the whole pattern, and it does have shorten and lengthen line still, so you can adapt it for your height accordingly. So I do like that one. I've had it printed off for quite a while, so I think now I've shown you, it's going to um, spur me on to get that one made. Uh, you can use jersey, ITY, it has to have a 50% width wide stretch on it because of the shaping but I think that's a really lovely one that can be made in either thick or thin knit so you can have it for all seasons. And then my other skirt I'm going to suggest is from Tasuti and that is the Multi Elastic waist skirt and again this one is a nice simple pattern using rectangles according to your size. Um, it suggests that you need 2.2 meters of fabric because it's a nice long skirt and it has three channels on the waist for the elastic and it even has pockets which is a bonus for me. The size range for this one is 6 to 22 um, again, I know you can look, but there's a bust of 32 inches to 49 and a half inches and a waist of 27 to 47 and a half inches and hips from 36 to 53 inches. So that is quite a good size range for that one. Fabric suggestions for this one are um, lightweight drapey wovens. Um, and ones that gather easily. I'm just reading, sorry. So for example, linen, wool, crepe, silk, cotton or viscose. And it says you can use the pockets or cut the pockets out from waist scraps after cutting out the front and back skirt. So again, it's trying not to waste too much excess fabric. You do need 2.2 meters. So obviously that's a bit more than just a scrap of fabric you might, but I'm sure you'll have something in your stash for this one and the pockets are definitely a bonus. So the next category is dresses and the first one that I want to show you is the Rosalie shirt dress from Mood Fabrics. Now this one comes in sizes 00 to 32 and I will put a size chart on the screen because 
that has got such a good range of sizes and for a free pattern I think this is a really pretty one. It suggests linen, chambray, poplin or seersucker so that would be quite a cool shirt dress for the summer. The next dress that um, I found, again I found so many, um, is the DIY wrap dress um, on Gathered's website and it's designed by Portia Laurie. Now this one hasn't actually got pattern pieces, it gives you a step-by-step -step guide on how to measure yourself and then what size um, pattern pieces to cut. I think what appeals to me with this pattern is that it will be specified to your measurements so as they say it should fit like a glove and it's a wrap dress and I just think it looks really pretty. Um, it suggests that you need about three meters of fabric and, it, and you can use anything from lightweight or medium fabric woven or knit um, even with a small bit of stretch they say that works well. Um, they use viscose in their example that I'm showing on the screen but other than that you just need bias binding and add the seam allowance on and you're done and you only need by the looks of it two pieces two pattern pieces so that is a really nice one if you've never made a wrap dress and it just looks really lovely so that's why I thought I'd suggest that one because you don't have to print off loads of pattern pieces. So my final category for workwear is trousers and again I can't believe how many different patterns there are available for free. Um, Mood have got so many uh, to suity fabrics so so easy. What I'll do is in the description box I will list all the websites that I visited not just for these suggestions but for the other ones because I did find quite a few. And it is really good that you don't have to actually buy the pattern, it's brilliant. So the first style of trousers is a wide leg pair of trousers. Um, I know there's been some great suggestions from Peppermint Magazine and some other ones, because again Peppermint Magazine have loads of stuff and I did have quite a few suggestions from their site. But it is the Louise Pants from Fabric Store. And these are wide leg trousers but um, the zips, there is a zip and it's at the back of the trousers and I used to wear this style and I loved it. Um, the waistband's got a flat front and it's got back waist darts and with the width of the trousers, I think you could actually taper that into what you prefer because they are quite wide and I have only made one pair of wide leg trousers because I'm all, always conscious that my hips and my widest part of my body but um, I did like making those last ones so this is why I thought this would be a nice idea and they're very comfortable. Now again the size chart I will put on the screen for you. It goes from 0 to 30 so it's very size inclusive. The suggested fabric is linen but I think you could get away with other fabrics because as long as it's a medium weight woven, I can't see why you can't use another fabric. Um, it does have an invisible zipper, which is something that I've been wanting to overcome. And also a hook and an eye for the waist. You do need 3.5 meters because they're wide leg trousers, but it only needs three pattern pieces, which is the front, back and the waistband. So that's another nice one that I think would be really quick to make. My final trouser pattern suggestion is from the Mood website again, and they are for a tapered trouser this time with an elasticated waist. And the name of the pattern is the Linda Pants. The lady who designed these is an endometriosis sufferer. So comfort is key on certain days when she's having pain from this. Um, and it would suit anybody that has any stomach disorders where they don't always want the trousers to be really tight around their stomach and waist area. So what you can do, as well as the usual pattern pieces, you can open the side seams up by five centimetres and add either snaps, poppers um, or velcro just to be able to loosen up that area. You can also adjust the rise or the seat of the trousers if you are a wheelchair user. So this is a lovely free pattern suitable for everyone. So it only has 
a few pattern pieces because you've got the front and back legs and pockets as the waist is elasticated so it's another quick make for this one and they suggest to use sateen suiting or linen but again I'm sure there are other options you could find anything that's woven I would say so that is all my suggestions for workwear Joining me today on the vlogging tour is Janine Sows and yesterday we had the lovely Sam from Solex Sparkle with Sam and Sagola Lynn Sows and then tomorrow on the 30th of March we have Sew April and the Sewing Circle so if you want to find any of these vlogs you can go on to Sam from Frugalissima's channel and she's created a playlist with everyone's videos on there and there's some amazing suggestions and I hope that I've suggested something you haven't heard of before. There are so many patterns, it's amazing that you can get all of these for free. So I hope you enjoy the challenge and don't forget to post your makes on Instagram on the 31st of March doing the hashtag SoFrugal24 and tag in Ruan from at the Yorkshire Sew Girl and Sam from at Frugalissima in Good luck and I'd love to see what you've made. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment below, let me know what you're up to. Take care for now, bye.